very big welcome back to itemaforia.com and today we will talking about how to use the with the image in Xcode that it is the good tip and trick for using the high quality image for your bottom URL bar also a menu and some objects for you the icon make it is the high quality that you see for universal device and before when we use the icon make we need to generate to 1x 2x and 3x for support our device like iPhone 4, iPhone 5 and about for the device that have the retina screen display so we need more time and sometimes we cannot generate uh, high quality it make icon for your application and today I will be talking about how to use the with the image for your email icon for support for your app. Okay, that was that. And let's go ahead straight to that. And the first thing you need to do is create a new application that whatever you want and okay, for example I want to create an email view okay I will put 60 and want to add constraint. Yeah, it is just a support for using the external name and I want to more button. Clearly about uh, how to set image set which to 60 and high to 60 to set the image. Space and then I want to add constraint for easy to see the UI. Okay, then I want to link it for setting the image, how image. Okay, it's uh, slowly because my computer running out of space on memory at least. Okay. Now I just want to outlet for setting new button view. And one more is the time. Okay, like that. And okay, now the time we need to use the vector and make how it work and how to do that okay the first thing you need to do is go to download the uh, image icon for example I recommend you use the design.google.com that it is uh, open source that uh, you can do for free for your application okay um, for example Yeah, the right. Which one? Okay. Now I'm trying to. Okay, I use this one. 
and then I want to choose the size and I download SVG. SVG is the file vector that they make. Then use the PNG. PNG is a picture file format. Okay, now I click download it. Okay, as you can see. But one more thing, I recommend you use the skip application for open the vector name. Okay, now open the sketch and I need to track the, the vector make that I downloaded. As you can see here, not small, but you can zoom it like that. And then you need to go to make a spot form or export it into the PDF format. And I want to check to switch for and I choose the type PDS and I click this one. And I want to put on the desktop and I want to add a new folder to separate it. Okay, uh, I want to rename it to test like that. You can close, yeah. And sell. And let's go back to Xcode, our Xcode, and go to asset dot. It's cursor to import the image icon. Okay. Now what we do is right click on display, and you can choose the import and let's go to the here this folder and this is the uh, Victor image that we converted to PDS file and you can open yeah as you can see but as you can see here it is wanted for one each icon and what we need to do is click this place and go to inspect the attribute inspector and as you can see scale factor and you need to change it to single vector and then you will see as you can see this picture and what we need to do is click it and drag to all and it will all work available for universal device. As you can see, this that on, on for universal device. Okay, now you can use the, this icon for every device. And let's go to this place. Okay, and try to run. Okay, no, no, no. Need to run. Okay, wait a little bit for processing from and Okay, now I want to run to make sure you know it set the image icon to our image view and our button. Wait a little bit, it's more slowly because we run the simulator the first time. Okay, now everything is ran. Okay, we can stop it. Okay, and now we need to set the uh, image icon to image 
Mesh. What the name of our account is Mesh. And then I want to set the button. So, Trust that is normal. Okay, now we are trying to see the result. Okay, here as you can see, yeah, like that. This is the bottom. It is got because the image time. You can change the content mode. It's got to fit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, like that. Yeah, as you can see, this is the Python button. Why is the blue? Because the 10 color in 44 in button is the blue. Okay, now we can use vector image for our icon image everywhere. And it is the quality, high quality image that you can use for every icon in your application. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, see you next time. And if you have any question, you can please me comment below this video. And you can go to my Facebook page for ask me about some question. And happy to to reply answer as can as possible and uh, hope hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more video and more chip and trick in mobile development okay thank you for watching good luck